Hi, everybody. This is beautiful Lake Powell. We're up in Last Chance Bay. That's where I come for my uh, family vacation, usually about every year. And usually when I'm out here, I have no internet connectivity. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. And so this time, however, I got myself a SpaceX Starlink satellite. And then I went one step further and actually brought a Groove Rio out on the boat with me. So I'm excited to show you that. So why don't we go upstairs and take a look at uh, what I've done. So right here is where I've got my uh, Starlink satellite. And you can see there it's on a nice little stand pointing towards the north sky. Uh, so I'm uh, connected to uh, Starlink satellites to get my internet service. And then I've got the cable here that's run back into uh, this cabinet here, which is my IT closet, if you will. There's my uh, Starlink router. Uh, so that becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, as well. So now we'll take a look at the uh, Groot Rio. So here it is right here. I just uh, have it sitting here on the counter. Uh, and indeed, I've got line power there set up. Got a couple ICTD probes at that moment. And then here's my USB cable, uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter. So now I'm communicating wireless LAN back to the Starlink router. It also means all of my other computers on the houseboat are also connected to the same LAN. So now I'll be able to log into this Rio and start configuring it. And I'll show you how I configure these ICTDs once they're wired in. I'm gonna go into the software here and configure those and also configure the MQTT Spark Plug B messages so I can send them out over the satellite uh, into a cloud server. Let's take a look at the ICTD probe I have inside. So right here, got a lot of expensive ice in here. I wanna keep it cold. I've got uh, that information coming in. I'm historizing and alarming should something go wrong with the freezer. So now I've got it all set up electrically. It's connected to the network. Now I'll go downstairs and we'll actually set this thing up. We're down now into the, uh, the galley of the houseboat. Uh, I've got my computer plugged in and it's Wi-Fi connected now up to the same Starlink router. So now I'm actually gonna go into my browser. So the first thing I need to do is uh, log into my Rio. So uh, because my computer here is on the same network, I'll be able to log in and I'll go ahead and click sign in and boom, I'm now logged into Groove Manage on the Rio that's upstairs. First things first is the IO channels. You can see there, I've got my, uh, my channel name and it's an ICTD temperature probe. Uh, here I've been uh, capturing both the min and max values. So it's gotten up to 106 uh, and as low as 71. Currently it is 97. Uh, and same thing here with my freezer. Uh, it's gotten down to minus 21, up to 30 degrees, which is all good. Uh, no alarms there. Everything has been good. Okay, the next thing I want to do is now that I have my IO channels configured, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the data service here. And there's my MQTT Spark Plug B uh, configuration. There it is. I'm just putting up on this um, topic namespace. So we've got demos, Rio Starlink, and I am uh, using a primary host application, which is my uh, ignition server that's back in Temecula, California. And then there's my broker. This is uh, the broker to uh, the Hive MQ broker up in the cloud. So that configuration is there. I'm uh, making a secure connection. Uh, and then that's all set. So I'll click cancel here. And then finally is the scan devices. What is the IO I'm grabbing? So here that device ID is Lake Powell Houseboat and uh, the communication port timeout. All this is working uh, just perfectly over the uh, um, Starlink uh, satellite system. Uh, so it's all ready to go. Now that I've published my data up into the broker, now it's uh, the next thing of course is let's go see that data. So I've got my ignition designer up on my server running back in Temecula, California. It's demo groove 12K. And if I go ahead and uh, take a quick look here, come down to demos, uh, there's Rio Starlink. There is my uh, houseboat information there. And if I scroll right down into the channels, I can see the, the temperatures just as I put them in there. Also what's in there are a couple of relays. So uh, there's, there's two mechanical relays on the, uh, on the Rio. So I wanted to be able to have somebody actually send a command all the way back here to Lake Powell uh, to turn those relays on and off. They're not hooked up to anything, but they're mechanical relays. So you can at least hear them. Uh, so if I look at my inside temperature, you can see all these values 
from the Rio here on the houseboat through the satellite to my high MQ broker and then being consumed right in here into ignition and all that data is readily available. Now, once it's in the ignition system, I can do a lot with it. Now, I'm not super familiar with uh, pr the perspective uh, screen builder in here, but I'm very familiar with our own GrooveView software. So I'm actually going to use GrooveView uh, running on that same se server. So I'm going to go demo.groove.com and click over here. Just go to the home page. And I've already been logged in. I'm logged in as a developer. And down here at the bottom, I've got the Lake Powell houseboat screen. So I'm going to go into there. And there you have it. There's all the data, again, flowing from the Rio on the houseboat to the Hive MQ cloud broker down into ignition. And then ignition takes all those MQTT tags and exposes them as OPC UA so that this Groove View application here can go and look at it. Real quickly, I'll switch to build mode just to show, you know, essentially how that was done. So that's loading pages. All this is happening over the satellite link. And uh, when I go configure devices, there's my ignition server and, uh, you know, the, it's local host. The, all the software is running on the same, uh, the same system. So I've also built handheld screens. So as I'm walking around the houseboat with my uh, phone, I always have uh, ready, readily available information about what's happening. Uh, in terms of temperature, freezer, and if anybody actually triggered some of the mechanical relays. So when I switch back to Groove View, um, I'll just uh, save changes now. I'll switch back to Groove View. Here we go. And um, I'm loading those trends now, but all my relay trends, uh, all my temperature trends are indeed coming through. There we go. And you can see that's, uh, that part right there in the trend is where I opened up the freezer to give you a, a look at that ICTD temperature probe. So there you have it. A little bit of fun on my houseboating vacation with uh, my family and friends, uh, but it's changed everything with the new Starlink. And now with Groove Rio right on the houseboat, uh, that's, that's some pretty cool stuff. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned to more videos on Alpha22.com or on our YouTube channel.